and welcome to an InView training video. Today I'm going to go over one of the modules that's called Varnish Blanket Design. And depending on which package of InView you got, uh, you might have had this module, but if not, that module can also be added to other packages. So let's kind of take a look here real quick and we'll scroll down and take a look at the Varnish Blanket Design module. And you'll see that this is uh, something that allows you to automatically make the um, the rubber varnish blankets for plotter, you know, so you can cut them out on your plotter and then you can put the varnish on your boxes. So anyway, let's just kind of jump into the software and uh, I've got a number of features turned on right now. Let's go ahead and let's just grab a box out of the library and we'll go get a folding carton and let's just go grab an InView box and just our normal box here and we'll pop it open into InView and you know, here it's resizable and yeah, maybe for fun, let's uh, let's use one of our Synergy components. Let's drop a uh, window in the sky. So let's get an individual component and we'll do a hole and a hanging hole and let's get this centered one and we'll just drop it out. Kind of zoom in here and we'll snap it into place and snap it into place. We get some new parameters, which is cool. So what we can do now is let's take a look. We've got this uh, this height and stuff. And so let's turn on our dimension line so we can see here. And so what we really like to do is kind of center this up in here and maybe put a half inch border on the sides and maybe one and a quarter or something like that on the top. That way we account for some of this tongue length and stuff. So let's just do this. Let's use some variables. So let's say that the height of this, uh, if I click on this, my hw is the height so let's make hw let's make that the height and uh, we'll subtract uh, 1.5 inches and then maybe on the width this is this hl we'll make that that a width and let's just say we want to be a minus one all right and then we kind of want to center it up in between so the first thing we could do is say in this vertical hole offset down here if i zoom in here Maybe we'll just do some fun math real quick. So let's just say that we want to have it like the height divided by two. And then we need to take into account that uh, HW. So let's subtract HW divided by two. Okay. So what's cool about that now is as I resize my box or I move anything around, then my window is going to say that size. So let's just uh, for fun, we'll make our box like three by two by five. Okay. So there we go. Take a quick look at the 3D, see what we got. There you go, so you can see our nice window in there. And All right, so let's jump into our varnish project. So the first thing we wanna do is basically put some sort of outline on here so that we can see um, you know, the areas that we wanna put the varnish on. So we wouldn't necessarily wanna put it on the flaps, you know, that'd be a waste, and we wouldn't wanna put it on the glue tab, but we kinda of wanna put it on everything else. So let's just go ahead and start. So we have a cool CAD tool, we've got this offset tool. And if I click on this button right here, this is going to give me a continuous uh, kind of offset around so it'll stitch itself together. And then I got some other tools for closing it up in the end. And I'd like this to actually be on my varnish layer. So let's come down here, varnish style. So we'll go grab varnish and say, okay. So now anything I draw is going to be on that line type varnish. And maybe we'll zoom in here. I just held control and I can move my scroll mouse in and out. And let's just start offsetting. So I'll click on this side of the line and you'll see it's just going to start stitching itself together. And it's great because it's uh, it's also connecting as it should and rounding or, you know, basically bringing the corners into place. So let's uh, offset there. We'll offset here and then just kind of keep working our way around. So then the last thing we want to do is as we get up here closer to the end, we're going to want it to connect automatically to this line up here. And so I can say, use this one. This, this is object to close with. And then if I got out of this tool, I could also use this to select the first object to link to. So I'm going to go ahead and select object to close to. I'm going to click on that object and then I'm going to offset that line. And so now you'll see it's connected up nice like it should, which is really cool. And uh, so let's zoom out here. All right, we'll get a whole picture and then we want to do the same thing here. So we'll go back into the tool and we'll just do this continuous offset and we'll just come in and start offsetting on the inside, 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 inside. All right, so now we're done with that. 
So let's go ahead and let's create um, another layer. So we're gonna go to look at our layers and I'm gonna do a new layer and we want this to be varnish. And we have some different images how we can show. Do we want like a gloss, a matte or a satin? So we're gonna pick gloss, say okay. Now let's go get the line types here. So I'm gonna click on that, there we go. And now I'm gonna select by style. Okay, so I got all that style and then I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna put it on the varnish layer. So now when we turn off the structural layer, so you just see the varnish and vice versa. Okay, so let's go do a quick nest. So we'll go and say, hey, we wanna get a nest and I don't know, we'll go down here towards the bottom. We don't need a ton of these, but maybe we'll pick one of these styles here. And I'm gonna not put any gaps. So these are gonna lay right on top of each other. And so now you can see, and oh, you know what we probably want to do because of this varnish is we probably want to deal, like hide out the glue tab too. So let's, let's go ahead and let's uh, create another object. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to rectangle and I want to put this on gluing. So we'll go down here and we'll say gluing, say, okay, let's zoom in. We'll just kind of snap right over to here, drag this over. And now we can basically not varnish over this area because we don't want the overlap. We'll go back to our layout. Should automatically be updated. Oh, you know, I probably have to move that to that other layer though. So let's do the same thing. We're going to click on this guy. We're going to select by style. And then we're going to right click in here and we're going to move it on the varnish layer. All right. So now all that stuff's on the varnish layer. So same thing, we come over here and we look, we can kind of go and say, um, what are our layers? So here's our sheet on the outside. Here's our varnish and our structure. So let's just turn on the varnish. So there's the varnish. But we wanna merge all this kind of stuff and everything. And then, you know, there's the structural. So let's use a varnish tool. So if you have this module, you'll see this. And if we had multiple designs, multiple one-ups, you know, we just have one drawing, it would give us that. And if we had different varnish types and this kind of stuff, we could also select here. But in the case we have, we just have the one. So we're gonna say, okay. And it's gonna generate a merged varnish layer. See, so we got this new merged varnish layer. And so now if you look at it, you zoom in, this is all set up so we can cut it out on our plotter um, create that varnish layer and, um, you know, we're going to be pretty much ready to go with that. All right. So now that we've done all that, let's go take a quick look at, um, let's turn our structure back on for a second. Yep. There's our structure. There's our varnish layer. So let's now go to the next step and we're going to go ahead and create the varnish blanket. So if you hover over this, I'll hit cancel. If you hover over this, it's going to tell us generate varnish blanket. So we'll click on that. And we have some whole bunch of parameters and stuff here that we can adjust. So let's click on help for a second. And the nice thing about the software is we have great built-in help. It's kind of just telling us about what we were just doing here, all these things. We get down to this and this is some of the stuff. So this is going to be the width of our blanket, the height, you know, the grip and everything's defined for you down here. And so if you're interested in these or you're not an expert on it, which uh, hopefully if you're doing varnish, you should know some about this. But if you don't, you can come down here and, and learn about it. But let's go ahead and jump back into the software. And the other cool thing we can do is like this is a scale factor. But if we didn't know the scale factor, we could calculate it by the cylinder diameter and the thickness of the rubber. You know, we can adjust where our bars are. The, everything is is adjustable. So now we'll say OK. And now you'll see. So we get our bars, we get all this, and we're ready to output. So anyway, I hope you found that uh, helpful. Um, you know, obviously you can do this with uh, pretty much any design, but it saves you a bunch of time in making your varnish blanket. So thanks for taking the time to watch.